Ace fans, Mike G, Charlevoix Ace. Here at Ace Hardware, we're doing an awesome grill demonstration to celebrate Cinco de Mayo, the local barbecue fest. So I'm gonna show you really quick how to start a Traeger for anybody that's never seen one or just kind of is curious as to how to operate one. So a Traeger is super simple. It's got one control knob right here. You got a hopper over here for your pellets. Basically it's got a grate, won't allow foreign objects in there. You fill your hopper up with pellets, close the lid, make sure your grill's ready to rock and roll on the inside clean and fresh. Take the knob, you turn, you turn this on right here, this button, this on off switch. And what we're going to do is cycle it up right here to smoke. I mean, I mean, I gotta go look, but it helps if you plug the grill in. Okay, so once you plug the grill in, turn the grill on, set your dial to smoke. You're going to let it run like that for about four minutes. Then what we're going to do is close the lid. And for today, we're going to be grilling some watermelon. We're going to be smoking some watermelon. We're going to adjust our heat all the way up to high with the lid closed for about 10 minutes. Then we'll come back and we'll start cooking our watermelon. Stay tuned for more. All right, Ace fans, so we've had our grill on for about four to five minutes now. We've got even heat across the surface. We're going to go ahead and close this lid. We're going to crank our grill on high. It's going to take about 10 minutes to achieve temperature. Once we do, we're going to start putting on some smoked watermelon. Can't wait for you guys to check it out when it's all finished. Stay tuned for more. Ace fans, Mike G. Charlevoix. Still here on the 5th doing our Barbecue Fest outdoor grilling demonstration. So what we have here is we've got a can cooker. It's basically a fire stove uh, pressure cooker. And this grill is called My Hibachi. What it is, it's a generic hibachi grill. It's got a commercial style burner on it. Uh, it's got about 100 orifices. Simple control knob. Electric start, uh, comes with three different grilling surfaces, platforms. You can use a griddle, great, or you can cook a pot on it if you want to do a fish boil. It's really, really nice. Comes with four uh, bench seats or four stools, rather. Bring up to 300 pounds a piece. You can sit up to six people on this particular model. It also folds down for easy storage. It folds down into its bottom, uh, bottom legs, and it makes it really easy for off-season storage when you're not going to be grilling, especially up here in the winter in northern Michigan. So we got our uh, can cooker going. It's going to be on there for 50 minutes. We'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished up. Stay tuned for more Ace fans. Ace fans, Mike G, Charlevoix Ace. Coming at you today to talk about a brand new product here at Charlevoix Ace. It's called an Uni Pizza Oven. So it's all stainless steel construction. Comes with everything you need to make pizza with the exception of pizza. So <clears throat> what it is, how it works, let me start over. How it works, it's a pellet fired pizza oven. This bad boy gets up to about 900 to 1200 degrees. It can cook a pizza in 90 seconds. We tried it, it's awesome. We recommend everybody stop in at Charleboy's and check this thing out live. What we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to start it today. So you got your back, your back pellet tray. We're gonna use apple flavored Traeger pellets. The rain cap doubles up as a scoop. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off in here. You wanna use about two scoops of pellets to get going. And you basically just sprinkle those things in the key with these grills is airflow, so you don't want to have too many, too many pellets in the grill or they won't ignite. So we've got our base, we're going to spread those out evenly in the front because that's where we're going to light it. Super simple, you slide this back in, keep your cap off. You can use either a natural lighting stick or a blowtorch. We prefer blow torches here at Charlotte Ways because we like a little bit faster. On the side, there's a hole for your blowtorch to be put. We found that with this propane style blowtorch that we have, it won't get inside the hole. You really need a pencil flame like what you'd see at a chef station. So we're going to light the pellets from the front end here by pulling it out slightly and lighting it through the stack. About 30 seconds to a minute to get the flame going. There's a side hole over here where you're supposed to be able to light it. You want to look in there and make sure you see a flame. Once you see a flame, you close this. Now this back piece right here is a hopper. This is where you're going to add the pellets in once you get a fire going. To increase the airflow, we don't fill that until we get going with some fire. Once we get some good airflow in there and start seeing some smoke and some heat coming out of the top stack, what we'll do is we'll take this out, 
and we'll fill this up to this this mark right here. That stack mark right there is the recommended max height for pellets. When you're doing pizzas, it's going to take about one full hopper to do a couple pizzas, and you can just continuously add them as you go. Ace fans, stay tuned for more. We can't wait for you to see what the uni looks like when it's all finished, ready to rock and roll. Butter, steak, and delicious. Yeah, like I said, thousands of these. You guys all want to hold there for about two minutes and have a hot pizza. What's you that like? Uh, yeah, these are these are apple uh, treasure apple apple pellets. Is what they are. Uh, this is a uni pizza. So we didn't we didn't have time to make dough because it takes a lot of dough to make pizza. But I didn't want to. So when you make your steak, do you let it come to room temperature before you cook it? Normally I do, and I normally let them rest for quite some time, about yeah. five ten minutes. This steak was out of a cooler, out of a fridge, out of into a cooler, out of a cooler, and at a thousand degrees, with salt and pepper for about three and a half minutes. But I think that I think that really helps is letting it come to room temperature. I mean, I learned it from Rachel Ray or something. I I typically it really makes agree a difference, with you. Man. So a few moments later.